Okay, then everyone, good afternoon. It is The Wanderer, and this is the next part of the Shirokawago vlog. If you did watch the first one, it was the journey from Tokyo Station, 7 a.m., all the way to Shirokawago. Now it's 10 to 3 in the afternoon. What a journey it was. We're going to show you around this absolutely wonderful location, show you the famous buildings. I mentioned it in the last vlog, guys. This is world famous, world heritage site, and uh, we're with, of course, a tour group. We're just going to try and do what we can here. Maybe we'll get some food in. Wonderful bridge. We're going to be going across that, guys. So if you do want to join us, if you do love this kind of stuff, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Click the bell to be notified when we upload more stuff. A lot more Japanese content to come over the coming weeks. I'm the Wanderer. I'm covered in snow. So let's make a move. Toshko's asked me to go for the karaoke, <laughs> which is potato with beef inside. I'll try not to get too much snow on my, on my karaoke. Here we are. Mm. Mm. In this weather? Oh, that's beautiful. Soft, hot potato, meat inside, crunchy outside. Oh, this is lovely. This is beautiful, beautiful guys. I think this is what they mean when they say eating outside. There's just a different sensation about it. I mean, this is lovely. Beautiful location, hot food, cold day. I don't think you can go wrong. This is wonderful. So guys, I'm in absolute awe of this location. I mean, the buildings are lovely, the weather. I mean, let's be frank here. In Britain, when we get a quarter of a centimeter of slush, everyone comes to a standstill and panics. I've seen more snow here than I've ever seen in my entire life. It's just absolutely beautiful. And oh, speaking of beautiful, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> We're going to look for some more uh, bites to eat. I think, Toshko, you were telling me about a beef sushi. Beef sushi. Okay, let's see if we can find it. Hida beef sushi. Let's see what we can see. You're only here once. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was great. Oh. <laughs> so good. Look at the pile, look at the pile I made. Okay, 
so now we're on the shuttle bus going to the top end. Hopefully we can find that Hide beef sushi, that would be fantastic. Uh, then we go back down, afterwards we regroup with the tour. Uh, they'll take us to our hotel, which is in Takayama City, where we'll stay overnight, and then make our way back to Tokyo tomorrow. So that is the plan. No snow in Tokyo, probably for the best. a stroke of luck in the end so we got to the observatory Shirakawago looks absolutely amazing from the upper levels there uh, but just as we were looking into the sort of the souvenir shop they closed mm -hmm. we were there for what two minutes mm -hmm. two minutes and it's looking like we might not be getting our hide beef here but we were informed by a lovely lady who was uh, waiting by the bus stop for us they have a place that does hide beef sushi uh, by our hotel so we're gonna probably have that to end the vlog our hotel also has a private onsen, am I right? Private onsen, first time. Well, I've already done onsen on my feet. <laughs> if you didn't see the last vlog, you can check that out there. But we're gonna have a full on onsen later on. Fantastic. Oh, let's not get hit. Let's not get hit. to do that. I don't know if you saw when I was going up the stairs. They're very steep stairs, very steep. And I did my shin. <laughs> really painful. <laughs> friends that was a pretty big cut from Shirakarago uh, so we're gonna be ending the tour bus uh, with this hotel so we're now at the Wat Hotel and Spa in uh, Takayama uh, but that is not of course the end of the vlog guys because we just got a few more fun things to show you this hotel does of course have a private onsen we're gonna have a welcome drink we've got some dinner to think about and we're also gonna have uh, tomorrow's breakfast and a little bit more food in the afternoon and this vlog is not over by a long shot Shirakawago though, I have to say, absolutely well worth visiting, really beautiful place, and I think the snow made it better, it wasn't overly cold, you know, we are wrapped up pretty nicely, it wasn't overly cold, I mean, I was more than happy to fling myself onto the snow, and, and it's fine, um, I think if we went in the spring, it would have been nice, but I think the snow just made it look even more beautiful, anyway, speaking of beautiful guys, this hotel is really really good Toshiko has outdone herself here by booking this tour slash hotel so let's show you around the Wat Hotel and Spa in Takoyama it's gonna be a really good night I think so here we go let's make a move <laughs>
don't know why I just feel like I'm just ready for bed, but after that onsen, I am refreshed. You know, stepping out into the bath, um, minus, minus temperatures, and then going into that onsen, and now I'm just burning. Let's have a free beer. I think there's no better beer than a free beer. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love that. Okay, Kevin, well, everyone, the next stop for us on this day, but not the final stop of this vlog, uh, me and Toshiko have decided to go and have some uh, ramen. Apparently this town, this part of Japan, is actually quite famous, well known for its local ramen. And also, as part of this group, uh, Toshiko was given for both of us a uh, voucher, so I believe we're getting this ramen for free, right? 2,000 yen token, so uh, free ramen. <laughs> shop but um, that was closed they were sold out for the day we can still use our vouchers here though right yeah. we can still use our vouchers here from the hotel uh, so this is a really nice looking place and we're going for beef tongue hida beef um, again I've, I've always seen these little devices before whether it's like in anime or Japanese TV shows and I've always wanted to use one so today is the day so looking forward to this oh yeah Toshiko absolutely knows what I like. Uh, she's a girl after my heart. She's managed to give me a beer that's bigger than my head. So, um, oh my god, here we go. Are you ready for frothy beer? <laughs> that's really nice. And we got some uh, light dishes before the meat comes. Uh, so we just got some cucumber here, so check this out. Really? So it's not just like average cucumber, but it's not with some possibly olive oil, possibly sesame oil in there. I mean, that is really, really good. I mean, check that out again. You know, it's funny, people always say about how I hold a knife and fork in my UK vlogs, but I think my chopstick skills are pretty good, don't you think? Mm. Okay, so how I think, so how I believe this works, so we've got our beef tongue here. Uh, so, I guess we've got our beef tongue here. Things look really nice. So, uh, we'll grab one of these. One at a time. Okay. I hope that's coming through on the microphone. You can hear the sizzle. But if you can't, I'll help you out. as well. Oh, I'll tell you something. Give me another one. Wow, that is amazing. Genuinely might be one of the best things I've ever eaten. I mean this this is <laughs> incredible, unbelievable. We got other types of meat too. Uh, let's show you. Okay, so we've got three 
few more items. We've got to be very quick. Um, we're going with the, uh, the, the Ross. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Nearly lost my eyebrows. I think that's better than the tongue. This helps the sauce. Next one is harami. Okay, here we go. Much more chewy. Mm. Off the top of my head, the first thing I'm thinking is like a steak, chewy steak. I mean, gorgeous, wonderful. And the final piece before we call it a night, a holloman. So here we go. It's really, um, really squishy off the chopstick. Let's see if we get a look at this without dropping the sauce all over the floor here. Holloman, here we go. I really don't know what my favourite thing is. Chewy, sweet, again, help, but mm, I think I have to give it to uh, the second one that I had, and that was the, I think the raw sauce was the best, but oh my god. If I was bringing back the taste score, I'd have to give everything a five. That was amazing. We're just gonna finish this, go back to the hotel, and then the next time you see us, it will be the next morning when we're going to try the hotel breakfast. If you like these kind of long vlogs, guys, let me know because um, obviously being in Japan, I want to try something new. We will have some shorter ones. But anyway, we'll see you back at the hotel the next morning. Okay, so it is the next morning, guys. And as you can see, we've prepared ourselves with a lovely breakfast selection of things from the Wat Hotel early morning breakfast stuff. So we're just going to go straight in give you a little brief on everything so we've got yucky yucky soba noodles here mm. a slight sweet flavor really good actually okay salmon mm. I can see the people in the comments now doesn't like toast I'll happily have some salmon. Here we go. That's gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, this one. Um, this one was down as some kind of steak, but that's what it said on there. But um, okay, so don't usually see steak looking like this. That's not bad. That's not bad. I like a really soft scrambled egg sort of sensation. Flavour was okay. Sort of like. Uh, Tastes like cabbage, actually. Tastes a bit like cabbage. It was okay. Okay, we have to check in now. Here we go. Look at that beast. I mean, that is gorgeous. Uh, it's a bit into it. I think the best way to describe it was really flaky. Like inside here, it's like it's made up of other bits of other bits of chicken. Just really flaky. Lovely to bite into. Soft, delicious, wonderful. Japanese style omelette. It's really nice. It's one thing they know how to do. It's a it's a really good omelette. Of course, I'll have a little taste at home too with some bacon. So I've got two Western choices here. I've got bacon and a little sausage. Not bad. I can tell though that it's um, not their biggest sort of niche, I guess. Um, not a lot of flavour. Crispy around the edges. It was alright. Not bad. I'm expecting the same of this actually. That is just literally a movie theatre hot dog. Um, yeah, I mean, it's. Yeah, I'm not. I have to say, these two, the bacon and the sausage, actually let the team down. The rest of this is gorgeous. I have to say, as far as free breakfast goes, it's brilliant. Like I said, I think the bacon and the sausage did let the team down for me a little bit. The rest of this, happy to go back for seconds, quite honestly. Cheers.
course, the finisher. I didn't get to do it yesterday, but I'm so glad I get to do it this morning. Takayama's famous ramen noodles. So here we go, let's give these a shot. Spot on, really delicious. Get that broth. Oh, man. Yeah, this has been, aside from the bacon and the sausage, this has genuinely been perfect. Right, guys, we'll see you outside and we'll tell you the plans for the next few vlogs. Right then everyone, so that was our day in Shirakarago and Takayama. That was absolutely really fun. Absolutely loved the hotel and spa. The onsen was fantastic. The breakfast, really enjoyed it. I mentioned it back there though, I do think the Western editions, the bacon and the sausage, were a little bit of a letdown, but obviously I understand it's Japan. It's not gonna be the focal point. The rest of the food though was absolutely amazing. We had some of the rice and the miso soup, that was gorgeous too. And of course the ramen noodles, really perfect. I hope you like these kind of long the vlogs guys but we are going to be doing some shorter ones very very shortly because uh, I believe tomorrow we're going to be going well tomorrow you won't see it for a little while but tomorrow we're going to be going to a beer factory tour uh, which includes free beer so I'll be in my element and we've also got a lot of other things planned as well if you do like this kind of stuff guys don't forget of course to leave a like subscribe if you're new click the bell to be notified when I upload more stuff I'm the wanderer guys this has been absolutely wonderful over here but we've got to go back to Tokyo so bye for now Ah, so if you've just joined us in the post credits, yesterday in Shirakawago we were looking for uh, Hida beef sushi, but we didn't find it. Luckily though, to end the vlog, we can actually have it. Hida beef sushi, A5 beef, this is the top range beef in Hida, although Toshiko still says that Kobe A5 is still better. But I have a weird feeling I'm going to enjoy this. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. That was worth the wait. That was awesome. That was brilliant, fantastic taste. This is also Hida beef. Uh, but inside, there we go. So, thanks again for joining me on this one, guys. Apparently I can also eat my plate. I didn't know this. So here we go. <laughs> that's amazing. That's, that's amazing. Bye for now everyone. Bye bye.